Everything gonna be alright, man. Just, just, just. You should get a job. I know you tired of being broke. I know you getting tired of the jokes. You rather do what you enjoy to do. What's good? Welcome back to another podcast of Let's Talk. It's your boy Jordan, the host, and I also got a guest with me, Sky. Sky and her falulu, her falulu, her falulu. It's like I have a German Shepherd and I have a Griffin Bear. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. We're going to get it started. Um, introduce yourself. Like, you know, tell people, like, a little bit about your background. My name is Sky. I am a life coach and herbalist and holistic healer. I heal people with herbs, especially women, like PCOS, hormonal issues and such. I also make products for men to heal low testosterone levels and things like that as well as skin care hair care and i also do fitness coaching that's what's up what got you uh into that like what was like the start with the fitness stuff like in high school i was mad skinny like i looked like i didn't eat <laughs> and so i just started working out or whatever and i figured out like damn, I'm low-key kind of strong, like, even though I'm small, you know, like, people always underestimate the small person, Yeah. and I'm not, I wasn't, like, short by no means, but, like, so, I kind of got into fitness, because I was like, damn, I'm actually strong, and next thing I knew, I was big as shit, not fat, but, like, muscular as shit, and I don't know, I just kind of ran with it, it just kind of came naturally, and then, like, the herbs and things, I suffered from PCOS, like really bad hormone problem and my thyroid would either be like really high and I'd be really skinny or like really bad and I'd be like fat almost mm -hmm. and so I just started using herbs and that shit works. How'd you start getting to the herbs? Like you start reading books, you start talking to more people, how did you get introduced to it? Reading books, talking to people, nah what really got me into herbs is spirituality. Mm -hmm. I read this book called uh who are you and it kind of like opened my eye like damn you know i wasn't somebody i really wasn't but it really like made me realize like damn you could be way more than you are type shit yeah. I, don't even, I don't even know if that makes sense no nah, it, it makes it makes <laughs> complete sense you know some people might not understand it because they haven't started their journey yet but some people oh, fact. yeah might understand you know, however you stand it. Quick question. Don't take a piece of this. You eat ass? Nigga, don't ask me no shit like that. So that's a nigga, you don't eat ass. Hell no. Nah. Do if, if a dude asks me to eat his ass, that nigga gay. <laughs> he gay. That nigga gay. He's he he like, gay. He's he like, gay. Hey. He gay. How you, how you figure? He's like, oh, eat my ass. Like, he you know, gay. My dick I had a dude hooch. ask me that one time. No cap. Eat his ass. I said, Mr. Nigga. <laughs> Mr. Nigga. <laughs> 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 no, not Sky. No, oh, Sky can't eat the ass. No. Mm -mm. Hey, so you lick the gooch. I'm not. Look, <laughs> hey, hey, I, I'll go as far as I can, but if it's <laughs> like, I, it's like it's a, a thin it's line a, between gooch and ass, and <laughs> literally a thin line between gooch and ass. And I'll have a heart like, attack if I cross that line. Dang. So like, if you do it by accident, you got to spit down there. Bro, you know, yeah. I don't even see how you can eat ass because I would have to like open your ass cheeks and make sure ain't no like like it's just too unsanitary for me. I just uh -uh. so you like your ass? My yeah. ass clean. So if you mix <laughs> my ass, I'm a. I mean, like I'm not gonna. That's a double standard though. Like with like it's I'm like care. a thing. I'll double they... stand all day. I'm not putting my mouth by nobody asshole. That's I crazy. can't do that one. What's the craziest sex story that you ever had? I don't know. I got scared when that nigga asked me to eat his ass. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> That's the crazy. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Like, hey, eat my ass. Or like, this I had sex like in, in public. I mean, like, that. I'm not going to tell you where. You done been there. I've been there. It's How do you know I've been there? <laughs> you done seen me there. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the gym. No. <laughs> no. You funny. No, not the gym. Like, Go. give me like a hint. Ain't nobody else going to know it if I know it. You do know it. You that's where you seen me Friday. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. I ain't never been out there. <laughs> like that's wild, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. where when it's hell of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a lot of people. 
especially around certain times. But I know y'all ain't do that in the heat. Now, fuck no. Yeah, no. No. It was inside. That's right. Like, <laughs> like a car? Like in like a club. Girl. I, girl. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. It's really not that bad. I, I had sex with, like, like the bleachers while niggas was playing soccer. See, that's nasty. Yeah. How nasty is too nasty, though? I don't know, like mm, you gotta get spit in the mouth. You been a guy. Like you been a guy, bro. I talked on another podcast about spitting in the mouth. <laughs> sanitary. <laughs> this nigga said, "How do you like?" Uh-uh, no, it's a thin line between when spitting in the mouth is okay and when it ain't. Where Where are these thin lines? Where are the thick lines at, <laughs> bro? Because like, if you just, I don't know. Some people not sanitary. Like that really got to be your person to let them spit. Like, if y'all just fucking, like, leave that shit, yeah, so then why you even use a condom like and shit? You don't do no, what you mean condom? I mean, like, <laughs> if you got a condom on, if you got to fuck them with a condom, they shouldn't be spitting in your mouth. That's a good, that's that's a good way to put that. But some <laughs> niggas nasty, though. Like, they, some bitches suck the dick with the condom on. <laughs> I mean, it ain't no fun, know. but, like, that's what they fuck I with. ain't never done that, but. Not with the condom on. You don't know, like the latex taste. Man, hell no, nah, you finna suck on no rubber. <laughs> like, That's like like sucking on a dildo. Some girls like that. So you know, no, nah, I'm shit. not finna put no dildo in my mouth either. So you wouldn't like But I damn sure, that's like if I go get one of them gloves out the kitchen and start sucking on it. I'm not sucking on no gloves. I'm dead. We'll put it like a little, uh, something to drink in that motherfucker drink out of. No. That's crazy. <laughs> Especially because they be lubricated. So it'd be like slimy rubber. No. Good. I'm good on olive oil rubber. Olive oil rubber. <laughs> well, uh. So like, are do you consider yourself toxic? Nah, I be chilling. You don't have any toxic ways. Stop lying. If you say you don't got no toxic ways, you lying automatically. But how I'm toxic? I be chilling. I don't know how you talk. Now, about now, asking. now. The only thing I'll say that people kind of say is toxic is some shit my grandma taught me some years ago. You're single until you're married. Now, mm. now. <laughs> You are. You are. <laughs> and a lot of people act like that's toxic, but... That's not toxic. It's just what it is. It, it is what it is, what it ain't, but it ain't... It's, it's a whole... It's you don't a have whole, to explain it to nobody. It's a whole gray you. area. No, sometimes you do, because they're like, that's cheating. No, we're not married. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have to explain, like, the people that you're dealing with, not the people that who asked about it. No, like, random people. Like, they'd be oh. like... I'm like, bro, you acting like you this nigga wife for what? How you gonna let your boyfriend keep you from finding your husband? <laughs> Hey, you can't, you can't, vice versa. And then, on every paper, when you file, single or married, they don't ask you if you got a boyfriend. <laughs> or a girlfriend, they just they ask you They don't you ask you that married. shit. And you put single. Facts, so right. you single until you What's your you Facebook married. status? Single. <laughs> I ain't married, so it's always it's single it's, until you married. That makes sense. Now, I ain't gonna say just be no whole ass bitch be out here just yeah. but like, it is slanging really, coochie, yeah. but like... That's the only toxic thing that I can say I didn't do it. Only toxic. So you ain't ever been through a nigga phone before? You went through never... a nigga phone? I, for what? Just the, cause the curiosity. Women nah, do it. No, nah, you know, no, no. My ancestors tell me what a nigga fucking on. I ain't got to go through your phone. I do too. Like with my nigga, I know where that nigga at at all times of the day without having his location. Oh, he let you know? No, because you should know your nigga, like, <laughs> movement. I know how that nigga <laughs> move. move yeah. Like, <laughs> I know where that nigga at right now. I know where he going to be at at 430. I know where that nigga going to be at at 5. Yeah. I know he get off at this time and be home by this time. So, all right, it took you, like, 45 extra minutes. Where the fuck was you at? <laughs> like, yeah, you gotta, I'm not going through your phone. Because you're not going through mine. Yeah, so, if somebody went through your phone, do you got anything to hide? So like like people from TikTok, they'd be like, "Can y'all like swap phones? Would you be comfortable doing like that?" I don't give a like fuck. That? He had it help. That's what's up. Just this one. How many phones you got? I got two, <laughs> but he can have both of them. I don't care. That makes sense. <laughs> how do you feel about relationships? Uh, like they're busy. Monogamy. Ah. Non-monogamous. That's a that's a gray area because I. Mm, because okay, really yeah. low key, like Americans are the ones who are like monogamy, monogamy, monogamy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the, so, the so these American people, 
God, I want to be a foreign baddie or whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> not knowing, like, that bitch, she, she probably not going to go to your American standards. Yeah. And vice versa. And I don't got no problem with monogamy. Honestly, like, low-key, like, whatever the relationship, whatever y'all decide. Yeah, like, it's too. It's like, how that okay. shit should be. Because to me, a relationship is a business, damn near. Yeah, because you always got to be a Facts. Like, like a relationship is a business. And shit. If you say you're not going to cheat or whatever and y'all going to be monogamous, then y'all be monogamous. Mm-hmm. But y'all never had that conversation. You single till you married. <laughs> <laughs> you single till you married. That's the first time I heard that shit. I'm taking that shit to my grave. Hey, that's what's so, Hey, I'll be right there next to you. And uh, how do you feel about trust? Like, how can people mess up your trust, and how can they earn your trust? Every time, like every t- everybody I meet, I trust them to a certain extent, mm. and uh, like obviously you can't trust everybody you meet, yeah. and you got to be weird on who you let in. And by me, I don't mean everybody I say hi to. I mean like. When I meet people, a lot of times I'll sit back and listen to them talk to other people before I even engage with that person. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, if you do one little stupid thing, like just, it can be little as fuck, like lie and say your shoe tied, but your shoe not tied. Like something little as stupid like that, and I'm gonna be over you by the end of the conversation. Mm. I don't like when people lie. That shit's stupid. Especially because I don't be caring most of the time. So it's like you could just tell the truth. So like say um you dating somebody. Like I'm not saying the person you're dating right now, just say like you dating somebody and they, they sleeping around but they don't tell you. You rather them tell you or not tell you. Like let them like let you know that's what you you know, I've been doing this and that. You tell me. Yeah. But like I mean I you gonna make I don't control you, you yeah. you know? But if we're going to be in an open relationship, you tell me so I can play my games too because now, now you can get mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem. A lot of people think they play it, but they be sneaking. Yeah. Like, if I'm doing something, I'll tell you. I don't give a damn. But I don't know. Everybody ain't the same. Niggas not going to tell you. Niggas <laughs> feelings be hurt. <laughs> so, so honesty is like the best policy. Yeah. You would say that. Yeah, because you can't trust a motherfucking shit. Yeah. I mean... It just depends, like, what you view trust is. Because, you know, some people might view it different ways. It's just a conversation you got to have with that significant other or that person that you're dealing with. How do you feel about dreams? you think dreams can be uh, a part of your reality or Most a part different. of a different reality? I I mean, I have dreams all the time. Do you remember them all? You write them down. I right? remember the bitches. Yeah. Like, I could tell you about a dream I had last week, but I ain't going to. <laughs> Why? It's not a dream you want to but, share. No, because I, I, don't know, I don't know if it's my ancestors talking to me or what it is, but like them shits be coming true. And I used to scare myself. I used to tell my mom, I was like, hey, you know, I'm be having these dreams and they be coming true. She looking at me like, all right, motherfucker, like get your weird ass on somewhere. But I started telling my mom my dreams and then she started noticing. This bitch not lying. <laughs> These like, and so I went to the doctor for that shit because I was dead ass scared. I'm like, God damn, I shouldn't be remembering all this shit. So, so uh, turn around. I go to the doctor. They gave me this medicine that's supposed to like help you when you sleep, like get to a deeper sleep to where you don't, you know, notice all that shit. Yeah. And all that shit did was like put me in like this like black hole. Where it was just me there. That shit scared me even more. Mm. I even gave it to somebody else. I was like, bro, try these pills. Tell me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Test these out for me real quick. <laughs> no, for real. He was like, bro, where the fuck you get these? What are these? He thought it was like some psychedelic shit. I'm like, no, there's some shit the doctor gave me. Boy, that shit scared me worse. Damn. So, nah, leave your dreams alone. Mm. What was the uh, last dream you remember that you want to share? I had a dream I was on shrooms, but that was just some weird ass shit from some shit that I had did with shrooms a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Don't ever have sex on shrooms. Fun mm-hmm. facts. Why not? Ain't that like the whole experience? 
be just like crazy on shrooms. Well, not crazy, but you just experience that on shrooms. Yeah, I mean, I got soul ties with a motherfucker because of that shit. Mm. Stop. No, yeah, I got soul ties with a motherfucker from that shit, and that shit haunt me. When, like... You know the funniest part? What? The next week, this nigga talking about Scott. I got something I gotta tell you. Mind you, this nigga told me he loved me the first night. Look, you dropped it down. The like first that. night. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and you know, it was like a week later, he told me, I got something I gotta tell you. I'm thinking, like, nigga, fuck. Like, what you gotta tell me? And he told me, I got a baby on the way. Ooh. And we had been kicking or whatever. I was like, oh, yeah, you wild. <laughs> he said she must the club. He ain't let nothing. He's, he's talking about is that gonna change things, <laughs> Mister Nigga? Yes. The fuck? You got a baby on the way, which means you got a baby mama on the way, which mm, means yeah, that mama. relationship new as the fuck. Yeah. Like that's a new relationship. Could you be a baby mama? Boy, fuck no. Why not? Why you like say it like that? I told my nigga. I said you. You either go, like, you got to marry me, or we got to have something, like, that binds us together, like, financially. And I don't mean a kid. Oh, I was going to say, a kid is a No, I don't mean a kid. Like, nah, my nigga, he cool, but nah, he mine if anything happens. (laughs) But, uh, he costs too damn much. He mine. Nah, he mine if something (laughs) happens. But, like, like, you're going to have to buy me a house and put my name on it. Whoa, that's crazy. Hey, you don't have to marry me. Something. Not no car, because the car get repoed. The house can get repoed. It could, but if it's <laughs> in my name, no. Most time if a nigga buy your car, that bitch be in his name or some shit. Oh yeah. And so you like no. car? We're not talking about that on oh, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so like niggas buy a car. But, like, nah, you gonna buy me a house. Yeah. Or something, like, something that's gonna bind us together to where it ain't no baby mama, baby daddy shit. Most time, bitches be, they be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, then they get pregnant. Bitch, why you even do that? Define. I don't care what nobody what say. Is Pregnancy like, is like avoidable. Out the wrong? Nah, yeah. I mean, like, like, it's avoidable. They got like relationships that ain't going um, well and, like, all these different relationship problems, then they get pregnant. Like, bitch, what was the point? Trap. Some some girls like the trap. Some dudes like the trap. Mm-hmm. And I ain't talking about like you know whipping in the kitchen type shit. Yeah, well they need to whip in the kitchen because they whipping in the wrong kitchen. <laughs> they cooking up something. Yeah, <laughs> nah, they be doing they do too much. That can't be me. That's ghetto. That's ghetto. What defines ghetto? Because I've been hearing ghetto used as a very different term than I'm used to. Like, Being somebody baby mama is ghetto. <laughs> what? But our generation make that shit seem like it's normal. It's Y'all want to have three world. baby daddies and then choose one nigga to pay all your bills. Mm. Bitch, come on now. That Ain't no nigga going to want to pay all your bills. <laughs> Ain't no <laughs> one nigga going to want to pay for three baby daddy kids, bills, all that shit, and live with you. Ain't nobody going to want to deal with that shit. Some I mean, it's one cluck ass nigga out there. There's some niggas be doing it. There's a nigga out there you. that'll yeah, do that shit. You be tricked on. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> okay. but I ain't got three kids and five baby daddies, yeah. so three kids, five baby daddies. That's crazy. But, but I'm just saying, like bitches will have four baby daddies and then be like, niggas ain't shit, or you gotta buy all my kids food, or Something like that, oh, or okay. you <laughs> you gotta pay all my bills, bitch. That's a lot. You a car with hella owners, like mm. it's. Come to a point with that car ain't worth shit. Yeah, that's true. I ain't shit. <laughs> ghetto. <laughs> that's ghetto. That's ghetto. Yeah, that's, that's, ghetto. that's like buying a fucking 90 Civic. Like, it's some niggas out there that want them hoes. <laughs> yeah, they remodel them. The facts. That's yeah, what I'm they, saying. Uh, you, you can. But the average can person not the gonna just go buy it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a certain nigga. Some. <laughs> hey, they out there, though. They is out there. Where, so, a nigga bought you a car. He put he put the money on the down on the car. Huh. Like you like bitches be right. Yeah, but ain't no bitch for me no car. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so a nigga bought you a car. No, he didn't buy me a car. He bought you a moped. Nah, 
No. No, I was cleaning it all out. Like, I mean, he just occasionally pay my car note and shit. Oh, you good. That's what's up, though. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Yeah, no, he ain't buy me no car. But he's paying for the car. Every once. I don't know what the situation is. Every once in a while. Nobody just bought me no car shit. This girl that's talking about my dad. That nigga bought me a car. Just give it some time. Somebody might buy you a car. You just oh, no. He can be pregnant. He definitely buy me a car. I'm getting one of these baby Atlas. I don't care what he says. So you don't want a Honda Civic? What the fuck, though? <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about, like, raw sex? It's the best. No. Is it frowned upon? Would you prefer? Is it frowned upon? Yeah, because some people don't like fucking raw. They weird, though. I don't, <laughs> I don't even think it's frowned upon. Like, if you just out here just fucking people, like, like if you single, you definitely should be using condoms. And that's not even, like, fuck just getting pregnant. Like, STDs, all that shit. Like, you don't know what somebody got. Yeah. You can go to, like, the club and, like, try to, like, pick up a sugar shit like that. Fact. Like, general. people always talk about Trey Songz got STDs. Do that nigga look like an STD? No. But, like... <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, you you can't sit here and tell me somebody looks like they got an STD. Yeah, you really can't be like, oh, that nigga got that shit. Unless they got bumps <laughs> on their weenie or something. But, like, yeah. like, you just gotta be safe. Like, yeah. shit, I don't know what they was doing before they made condoms, but. Fucking raw. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I mean, but, ain't nothing else you can do. But I'm saying, strong. like, I mean, you gotta be safe. How you feel about birth control? Fuck that shit. Mm-hmm. Hell no, nah. I took that shit. It made me gain hella weight, and it wasn't shit I could do about that shit. Yeah, the birth control. What'd you have, like, in your arm or, like, the pill? I had got that shot thing. Ooh. You moved it? Huh? I think see people, some people be like, you moved it. No, the shot. I got the shot oh, in my just, arm. Oh, the shot. Yeah. yeah. That shit made me gain hella weight. And then I did get that thing put in my arm because I wanted to change. And then I didn't like that shit either because I can move it and feel it and shit. Uh, and then that one day when I couldn't feel it, I was like, God damn it, move. Uh, <laughs> but it, didn't, it really didn't go nowhere. I just didn't like that shit. I was like, yeah, nah. Nah. You get like more of a natural birth That's why I got PCOS. What the? It wasn't shit know, wrong yeah. with me. What is PCOS? Polycystic ovary syndrome. Mm. Explain yeah. more about it for the viewers. Basically, know. like, it fucks with, like, your testosterone levels and... Hey. And he like, nigga, this is my house. Tell me, then they go make all types of shit. And uh, <laughs> if it if, if fuck with your hormones, and I don't know, like some people they grow facial hair, like excessive body hair, all types of like you know crazy shit. And it affects more women than you think. It causes hella fertility issues. That shit just fuck you up. They make you either skinny as fuck, fat as fuck, and they shit you really good at it. So you currently ain't no mental health issues like that? Oh yeah, no, I ain't no shit. But you do like the natural thing, right? Yeah, birth control? Yeah, you know they got the little... Oh, yeah, I know, but no, I don't do shit. I mean, I eat papaya seeds and stuff sometimes, and shit like that, but... Dancing with the devil out there. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens if you do get pregnant? Well, we're not gonna put that in there. We're not gonna put that in there. Well, that nigga already asked me to marry him, so goddamn, he stuck anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it so is. So if I end up pregnant, I hope he's ready to be a stay at home dad. <laughs> Why you gotta be a stay at home dad? Because I ain't watching it all the time. Why you say it all the time? Because I be here all day with this dog. I ain't gonna be with this dog and a baby all the time. Oh, Hell, That's me and the dog gotta get away. Go <laughs> we'll take a little walk. The baby gotta go too. Yeah, take that motherfucker with you. Or see, leave nah, it in the house by itself nah. and just telling it it gotta cook some food. Yeah, no, nah, see. By one year old, I'm gonna watch it working. I ain't going to jail. <laughs> I was around all these white folks. They gonna be like that black girl walked out of her apartment. Where that baby at? You like it over here though? No. Whoa. I was looking for a different answer. Nah, it's cool. nah, it's cool. But that, this is gonna sound fucked up. It's too many black people in these apartments. 
<laughs> that shit do sound fucked up. I mean, but I understand what you're saying. Because you know? when we lived on the other side of downtown, it was all white people. It was quiet as shit. Mm. Now it's all these stripper hoes and scammers <laughs> over here. But I should have known that because it was black people working in the leasing office. Mm. Well, when I went down there, it was like... That's not because yeah. new people bought it oh, like yeah. last month. That's what's up. That was but cool. when, yeah, facts. When we moved in in February, it was all black people in the office. No, she thought she was white. You can tell oh. by her lace front. But <laughs> <laughs> but like I swear, like you see some of these people in these apartments, you be like, God damn, do they take housing vouchers? Probably. No. <laughs> Probably. Hey, you gotta get out of your living. I'm like, I feel like we live in section eight. She said the scammers. <laughs> what are you like? What's your ethnicity? You know, straight black, half, half, half. No, my daddy black as hell. My mama is white as fuck. That's what's up. Like, skin tone or Like, how German how? white. My mom German. Mm. That's what's up. <laughs> what about, um, the dumbest thing that you've seen anybody do or say? Hey! I'm trying to see what's up. The dumbest thing I've ever seen somebody do? Shit. I don't know. Shit, I see a lot of dumb shit. I'm not <laughs> Hey, motherfucker. Bruh, he don't ever do this shit when they just be me and him here. He's on a player from here. Uh, I don't know. The dumbest thing I've seen somebody do. Would you believe in aliens? Or different types of beings? Yeah. Have you seen them? <laughs> yeah. I thought I did when I was on shrooms. It was an alien up in the smoke detector. That's for sure. How, how is that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I ain't never been on shrooms. How is that? I was going to weed too, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This nigga's the feds. We finna go to jail. I thought we all nah. smoke a little green. Uh, hmm. I mean, shrooms is like, I don't know. Shrooms can be good and bad. Most of the time, like, like, I'll occasionally do, like, four or five grams. Yeah. But most I mean, of the time... <laughs> I'm what? like a blunt four or five grams. You said shrooms. I mean, like, what's the milligrams? Like, how much you get per shroom? Or you, like, put it in sandwiches and shit and just shoot for a star? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to go, like, make me a smoothie or some shit. Yeah. Or mix it with my sea moss because of health. Yeah. <laughs> and just eat that shit. <laughs> like, just different stuff, like... You can put in tacos, like literally anything you put mushrooms on, pizza, mm. sandwiches, like whatever you put mushrooms on, you can literally just put that shit on there. That's interesting. I mean, different. But like, what was the craziest experience besides oh. like the alien cooling in there? Oh, true? Yeah. The funniest, no, the funniest part, I was at my friend's house for the twins, right? I was sitting on his couch. And mind you, we smoking, so we smoking and doing shrooms. Yeah. That makes the high like higher. And so, uh, I'm sitting there. I got on a freaking like like a crop top shit and like some shorts or something. And I started laughing. Niggas is like, "Fuck wrong with you?" <laughs> like, <laughs> and shit. I was like, "Damn, nigga, all you niggas in this house, I ain't got no pants on." <laughs> <laughs> So, they started laughing, and my friend, he was like, bro, where'd your pants go? I'm just laughing, like, I don't know. The whole time I had pants on. Yeah. So, this nigga started laughing. His brother was like, oh, yeah. You niggas done did some shit. I gotta go. He didn't know we had took some shrooms before he got there. Mm. He thought we were just smoking. <laughs> that nigga locked us in the house. But I woke I had like, I ain't really just fall asleep, but I guess I closed my eyes for a minute. And I opened my eyes again, because only like three minutes had passed, and I didn't know where the fuck I was. Yeah. I started freaking out. Yeah. Nigga, I was in the bathtub. Damn. <laughs> How long does it normally last? Like nine hours, God. ten. Damn. But oh, that's because, but that's because, <laughs> no, facts. But that's because, like, I'll do like three, four. 
five, six grams. Mm. But mainly I microdose. Like I would just take like a little bit every day. Yeah. Like what the fuck? I hate to ask all these questions if I weren't like what was the instrument. What happens to this like talk of, you know like we do like get a gene depending on how you get it. I mean, depending on how much you buy, like average is about fifteen. Yeah, facts. But the only problem is, like, with shrooms, you don't notice, like, like that shit heavy. It's not like weed. Yeah. So if you just go buy a gram of fucking shrooms, it looks like just, like, one mushroom. Yeah. And you be like, damn, like, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, the additive. Right. And it looks like nothing. So you gotta, that's how you gotta be careful. Like, you gotta have a scale. Because if you're not using a scale, you can take, like, hell of Way more than you thought you were taking. So you like just cut it up, like you put it on the scale, probably like two to like one mushroom, you just cut it up. And then, and, but you say you like you take more than one of them. So yeah. Like, yeah. That's the only thing you try for acid. <laughs> nah, I ain't fucked up acid. You ain't fucked up acid. My dad told me he took acid one time. It lasted like fourteen <laughs> hours. My friend took acid, right? This nigga called me A.O. Sky. I'm looking. I ain't look really like at the phone at first. I look down at the phone. This nigga got like nacho cheese all on his face from eating nachos. And so, you know, I'm like, I go make sure this nigga good. So I'm like, bro, this nigga like tripped out. This nigga think he Travis Scott. I'm talking about <laughs> wouldn't answer to his real name. We didn't say Travis. You, you had to call him Travis. Oh, God. That's what he was listening to. <laughs> nigga had to go to the hospital and shit. I was like, oh, no. Nah, this nigga, wow. Like, after I after I seen that shit, I was like, I ain't taking no drones. Hell no. Nah. Hey, we think I'm somebody else. Mm-mm. I heard this shit pretty strong, though. I said shrooms. I mean acid. I ain't taking no acid. Like, who you? You draw? Huh? You draw? Or you just doing some sketches? Oh, yeah, I draw sometimes. What did you draw? There ain't shit in there. <laughs> you, was, you know what's funny? That was there for decoration. Nah, facts. Nah, you know what's funny? I got my grocery list in here. Oh, word. Yeah, no, nah, see, there ain't shit in here. That's something. You do something with that, baby. Nigga, it's graffiti, so I don't go to jail. I thought you were going to do that. Right? Oh, and this is my mushroom growing thing. <laughs> like for uh, like edible mushrooms or just like for huge mushrooms? Well, I mean, it's the same. Like, you know, like. Like uh, lion's mane, uh, oyster, or like more like for. I'm talking know. about psychedelic mushrooms. That's what's up. <laughs> you go put it this in here. This is how you grow them, huh? They That's in the here. You just don't know where they at. Oh, you right. You sure right. No, I'm just playing. They not in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to jail. Don't y'all bring y'all ass over here. It ain't nothing but some portobello mushrooms on this. Oh, well, yeah. she uh-huh. said she was meal prepping for us. You know, so yeah. like, what uh, type of shows you into? I see Netflix over at Junction. Bro, literally ain't shit on here interesting. Like, I started watching something called Virgin River. It's cool. But, I don't know. I don't really watch too much TV unless I just dead ass ain't got shit to do. I didn't know you've seen Stranger Things. I couldn't get into that shit. That's the one with the little white boys? Wow. That's crazy. That's the one with the little white yeah, boys, right? Yeah, the little white boys there trying to, uh, solve I watched one episode. And I even watched the episode. What were you doing? You weren't paying attention. Smoking? No. <laughs> but it wasn't, it It couldn't, I don't know, it couldn't catch my attention. Like, when it comes to TV shows, I got a short attention span. So if that shit not interesting, I'll be going to find something else to do. What's your hobby? I skate. I draw. I make beads. Oh, I thought you said you make beats. I was like, let me let me hear something. Hell no, I don't make no like, beats. You ever rap for this shit? You make music too? <laughs> no. Oh, man. Only when I'm high sometimes. Can you sing? No. You can freestyle. Yes. How good? What level? Like, yeah. I gotta be high because I ain't finna just do that shit sober or drunk. Like, if I ain't under some, some type of influence, it ain't happening. What about positive influence? Like what? That my all sound positive to me? <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, therapist, like, <laughs> shit. Nah, man, I really ain't got a lot of more questions. I want to see if you want to wrap it up or what do you want to say about that? <clears throat> so, what's your plan 
Bush was in. She go to the gym. Look for the snickers. Hell no. Yeah. I go to uh, this gym around the corner called Gym Evolution. Gym Evolution. Yeah, it's like a. I don't want to say a family gym because it's not like like they don't be like a fitness. But it's like a little cool ass training facility, like. Uh, like Coco Shrimp? Huh? Like Coco Shrimp? Nah, that's just fire. You like Coco Shrimp? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they put in that crack, but I'm eating shit out of that shit. Yeah. I think it's a sauce though, but they. Look, my fat ass, I get the butter garlic shrimp just so that that butter garlic go on that rice. Yeah, that shit's fire. Yeah, facts. I mean, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'm pretty well asking some questions. You know, uh, shit, you tell them niggas you don't want no tail, they take the tail off with you. Really? Yup. I kind of just be eating the shrimp. You eat the tail? Yeah, I, I eat that whole thing. I'm just broke. I'm broke. You eat the tail? I eat the tail. So I know you eat ass. I eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> nasty. I like it nasty. It just depends on what type of nasty. I don't get my ass ate, but I do eat ass. This nigga said he eat the tail. That shit pokey and shit. Yeah, I know. One, you know, actually, that's crazy. One girl actually tried, and she tried to lift my legs. With. I did not like that. I was really, I felt really disrespected. I had to tell her we had to stop. I had a gay nigga tell me he'd let me fuck him if I had a strap. That is so weird. Oh yeah, I know. I mean, but like, that ain't weird to. But to I had to see it through. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's what's up though. This nigga froze. I mean, yeah. It wasn't that I could say it, but this <laughs> nigga froze. Huh? <laughs> That's crazy. Did you really go to it? No, I was scared. I was like, nah, sir, I can't do that. No, I didn't. That's crazy. I called my friend. I was like, but they can do it. They just need to say something. They just need to like, look at them. But you are like pretty, got broad shoulders and shit. Like I don't that. give a fuck. That does not mean I fuck niggas. I mean, <laughs> you right there. I would kill you. <laughs> just because I work out don't mean I'm sitting here. Slanging straps. Okay, you nigga. You got it in your quad great in the bathroom. No, nah, facts. I carry that all around. Bathroom. Y'all thought I had a purse, nigga? You no. Know, my strap. <laughs> my strap. Break bread is kicking. What's your, uh, what's your numbers looking like? I know you've been uh, in the game for a little minute. It's the first time we actually like encountered each other, you know, one on one. Like, what's your, like, uh, your end for your squad? Type of numbers you playing with? Ooh. What's the goal? Do too, <laughs> but I haven't squatted like squatted squatted in a minute. Like, uh, I was working out. I guess like three weeks ago doing squats, and I was doing three sixty for reps. I don't like squatting. That shit hurts your back. Yeah, what you do? I got scoliosis, so like. Scoliosis. Yeah. How often do you stretch? I stretch every day, but that don't make no damn difference. My bones not gonna get straight. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> but I did lift five hundred. Yeah. And my bench one ain't got to talk about that. That hoe only like two fifty. <laughs> it's something that you can't even do too much. Time. Well, they not niggas. <laughs> Some females can't do too much for us. I ain't gonna lie to that. But that's it. You want me to go? I know you do deadlifts. You were saying earlier you did like six, 600 of them. Nigga, I did not do 600. Mm-hmm. Bro, no cap. By the end of it, bro, I couldn't feel my legs. I told them niggas, I said, because we was at this damn deadlift competition thing. And uh, you could either do. See how many reps you could do, like in one minute, or you could do like uh, see like the max weight. And I was like, you know, I power lift, so I know like I do max weight shit all the time. But I should have did max weight, goddamn. That shit wouldn't hurt that fucking bad. Mm-hmm. And because I think the girl's highest was like two seventy five, was like the max weight. I warm up with that, and <clears throat> so. I was like, damn, because 
I think it only took them like four lifts to get to 275. I could have done that shit. That shit would have took been easy as fuck. Nah, my dumb ass did the max rep. And I did 41 of them in one minute. You ever done 41 deadlifts in one minute? Don't do it. Uh, I used to do CrossFit. Oh, no, fuck that shit. <clears throat> not some mud, not some mud. Have you ever tried CrossFit? No. I was gonna say social because, media it's, tried. because it's too much. I do little things like the <laughs> rowing machine. That's too much. The rowing machine is deadly. So that shit's is fun. The cycle bike thing. Yeah, no, facts. I do little shit. Like, I don't do, like, CrossFit workouts, but I occasionally, like, like, uh, like, do circuits and shit like that, and, like, you know, obviously CrossFit tie in with some of that stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't do that shit every day. It's like certain days you have some lift days and shit like that. I used to go to Fitness Connection and slam the weights. People used to hate that shit. Nigga, that shit is annoying as I know. fuck. They used to, I used to do Bro, it on purpose, too. Bro, that is annoying as fuck. I didn't care. I, I don't... Care what they about. Look, hey, <laughs> all I'm gonna say is, if you pick up a weight and you slam that bitch down, I hope it hit your foot. Because... Uh, <laughs> that's like, it's bumper plates. It's supposed to hit the ground hard. No. It should bump your toe hard. Because, that, like, why do you do that? What's the point? Because, like, when you when you bring it up to, like, your shoulder, you press over your head, you don't want to have to catch it if it's too heavy of a weight and drop it. Because you still got to drop it regardless because, like, it's heavy weight. Above well, why you just don't go do that shit at a CrossFit gym? Because, I mean, certain times of the day, CrossFit gym is not open, and they got bumper plates and fitness connection, and it only costs, like, $10 a month. CrossFit gym is, like, 100 and something plus on I don't know. I mean, I guess that is like a cross training section, like over there in that. Yeah, that's why they got the bumper plates. That's why they didn't put the metal ones over there. The bumper plates fake anyway. Fake. <laughs> they mix it not heavy. Well, what you mean? They're like the same, literally weight. You ain't never like took the time to weigh it out. You should do a TikTok to do that. Bro, like, okay, if you go lift the weights there, and I take you to like a real gym. A real gym. Yeah, no. <laughs> not a corporate gym. Yeah, yeah. it's like a real gym. You'll be like, oh, damn, this shit feel heavy as fuck. Like Metro Flex. Mm, yeah, they cool, but that's not the gym I'm talking about. But, yeah, if I took you, if you go to Fitness Connection, and you go to another gym, you'll be like, damn, these plates are not fucking heavy. You think so? I know so, because I do that shit to myself. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> I put on the same way that I do at Fitness Connection, that shit don't move the same. It don't move the same. At all. Like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's bad because then I go to Fitness Connection, I look strong as shit. Like, I went to Fitness Connection, we was doing chest press. I was using the 80 pound dumbbell. Mm. Can I do that shit at the other gym? Nigga, no. What did you use? Because it's, it go from them like bumper little like dumbbells oh, yeah. to the steel dumbbells mm-hmm. where the whole thing's steel. Yeah. Steel. It's like the bumper weights and the steel weights don't fucking feel the same. Well, I stopped really lifting weights like that, but when I was doing chest press and shit like that, but it really wasn't no difference for me. So I've been to all types of gyms, but some people look upon people differently because they go to a certain gym. I don't look at people differently, but uh, I don't like them gyms. Like <laughs> the corporate gyms. Yeah. yeah like nothing against the like. Nothing against the people that go there, but like the fitness community is like a. It's like everything got a community. You know, like the powerlifting community, bodybuilding community, CrossFit community. And then there's corporate gyms where it's like a mixture of every. of everybody and these influencers. And the girls in the 3X shirts, they got them tucked in in the back so you can see their ass. It's like. It's a trend. I don't <laughs> know. Nah, that shit ugly as fuck. I'd be like, bitch. And then they'd be like, niggas are weird. They keep watching me. Girl, I'm looking at you, you too. You got on a 5X shirt when you wear a small and you got it tucked in in the back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit, that's what they be asking for. And I'm not even looking money. because your ass be. Because nine times out of 11, it's not. Yeah, it'd be the short girl. No, it ain't even. It, it don't be looking big at all. It, it just be like, I, 
Why do you got your damn daddy shirt on? That's that shit just bugged the hell out of me. I'm like, Rapping tees. Facts. Like, if I wear a big ass shirt, it just looks like I ain't got shorts on at all. Like, I'ma just wear that. <laughs> like, but these crazy. bitches like tuck that hole in the back so you can see their ass. Yeah. And then they say niggas is bitch. They trying to grow their booty. Yeah, whatever. They just trying to grow their booty. Yeah, uh, yeah. How uh-huh. you feel about those type of workouts? Tell us how to actually gain muscle mass and actually grow brain gain strength for women who are having a hard time. What do you do? What's the number one thing that you do when you just want to gain weight? Good weight though. Eat. Say it again. Eat. Is this eating eat. the proper well I would eat. say proper, just like certain type of food that's supposed to put that weight on you, like starchy. Like food. eat. Like that like People make it, like, okay, I get, like, you know, some people, it's hard for them to gain weight or whatever. But this was, like, what I looked like when I started. Yeah. How long ago was that? Like, how many years? In high school. Yeah. About, like, seven. No. Six. When you graduated? Fuck, I don't know. Five. When you graduated? 2017. What school? Bourbon. Oh, okay. So, shit, like, five years ago, mm-hmm. I think. Something like that. But... Like, you literally have to eat. And I even, like, train girls and stuff like that. And they'll be like, for when, it's damn near like an insult almost. So they'll be like, I don't want to get big like you. Well, first of <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> first of fuck off, um, you're not. It's genetics. It ain't even genetics. Because my parents don't look like me. But it don't have to be, like, straight from the and parents. It's like a gene that's passed down from, like, you know. I know, but yeah. I'm just saying, like, it ain't like... Like, how I put this? It, you gotta work to look a certain way. Like, when I was big as fuck, I was literally working out six times a week. Only took off on Sundays. Like, eating to the T what I was supposed to be eating. Not eating all the bullshit. With the, with the scale and everything. Fast. Like, the food. Fast. I mean, I like, food. Like, I was on it, like, for a long time. So, unless you're you going to do that and have that type of discipline, you're not going to look how I look. It just, it's just not going to happen. It can't happen. And that's how girls always want to start out. I don't want to be as big as you. Bitch, how are you going to try to insult me but then ask me? <laughs> like, I know it's not an insult and they don't mean it that way, but it come off like, that. that's some shit, bitch. I don't want to look like you. Like, I would say, I don't say nothing like that, but I'm like, damn, I'm like, how you going to come at me like that and then want me to train you? I'm going to charge you extra. <laughs> Just for saying some shit. Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I try to explain to people, it's basically just what you eat, but, you know, they always talk about they eat a lot. Bro, you know, and. You know, I always fool. And you know what's crazy, though? It's like, they're like, I eat a lot. But then, you like, okay, write down for me what you eat for the day. They write it down, and I'm like, that's only like 1,500 calories. That's not enough. At <laughs> all. Like, they want to gain weight, but they eat 1,500 calories and burn it to 2,500 calories. You know, mm-hmm. like, you're not going to gain weight that way. Or they'd be like, well, uh, I drink protein shakes. Bro, I don't know how many times I got to <laughs> tell people a protein shake ain't going to make you gain weight. No, it's just like the protein. Fat. You don't even have, like, a lot of carbs. Fats. And you can buy those mass gainers. And yeah, they're cool. But you still have to eat. You still got, you can't just like, assume that. Like, yeah, that's a thousand calories. calories a drink. Yeah. But you piss half of it out. Yeah. Like, you you have to eat. But if you're not eating. Much, what, what, what do you say about your mouth? At all. Yeah. At all. And if you're not eating, like, how the hell are you going to gain weight? They're like, well, I don't be eating breakfast. But I go give me a, a double cheeseburger from Whataburger at lunch, and then I go to Chicken Express, and then I go to McDonald's. I'm like, okay, all that together is probably like 15, 1,600 calories. People don't be realizing that shit. Yeah. Most of that food ain't the calories that you think it is. Yeah. Like, no cap. A burger is less calories than, like, earlier I had made some mushroom chicken pasta. But a burger is less calories than that mushroom chicken pasta. Yeah. And I ate way more. 
and facts and it was more quality like ingredients and shit than you eating this fucking burger that ain't really doing shit for you and you feel like you eating a lot people be killing you with that you like these burgers oh okay <laughs> as, a, as a, like a, a trainer like how do you feel about when people like come to you with that type of advice and they don't like take it or they don't like apply it how they should apply it well, I mean, I always tell people, like, during the day, you got to carry your food around with you. Or, you know, like, so you're not gonna get in facts. You have to do something to make sure you eat it. Like, to hold yourself accountable. Like, you got to plan your day and take however much food it is you need with you for the day. And do stuff like that. But people don't want to do that. Where would I heat my food up at? Da, 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 da. Quick trips. <laughs> On me, y'all got to well, Quick trip. trip. They got microwaves, all types of shit. Facts. You need a fork? fork. Quick trip. <laughs> Soft, quick, quick trip. trip. Like, <laughs> are they going to charge you? Fuck no. Like, it is warm it up. Facts. Just, like, you can literally, like, I don't know. Talking to people about eating is weird because they be like, well, I'm going to be hungry or I can't eat that much or blah, 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 blah. I'm like, bro, you'll notice your metabolism works better the more you eat. Because when you don't eat, your your body went to starvation mode. Yeah, so it's and depending on the stuff that already has. So you might gain weight in your stomach because your stomach is like bloated and shit from you not eating. Yeah. People don't get that though. And they don't ever listen. <laughs> they it'd be like they don't. Because like I used to work at a supplement shop and people would come in all the time. How could I lose weight? Is there a pill that's going to make me lose weight even if I keep eating what I'm eating. Bitch, no! Oh. Fuck. Crack. Yeah, it's gonna eat your stomach line. Facts, you want some crack? <laughs> like Molly? Like, what you wanna take? It's gonna help your crackhead ass lose weight while you still. No, nah, facts. <laughs> nah, that shit. Mm-mm. They gave me that shit for ADHD, nigga. I'm talking about. Oh. Wouldn't eat shit. Oh, God. <laughs> I had it before. <laughs> One time, I was like. Mouth dry the bitch, <laughs> drinking all the water, dude. I was on a water diet the whole time I was taking that shit. I remember you used to work at the, uh, you said the vitamins, the vitamin store on Houston, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember seeing you work there a couple times. Nah, that shit, boy. The, boy, some of the questions people ask you in there, you be like, really, bro? Would it be like yeah. white people and black people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Mexican. Yeah, that's what everybody says for all that shit. Asking crazy ass questions. If I take this, it's gonna make me lose weight, ma'am. Yes, if it will help <laughs> if you eat right. Like I can't sit here and tell you that if you go eat three quarter pounders today, you're gonna lose weight tomorrow. People took this pill. Yeah. <laughs> People just wow. People wow, and they don't understand. You gotta eat all throughout the day. Yeah. That you three, hungry, that like three big meal shit. No, that's how you eat. For me? No, I mean, I, I eat when I'm hungry, but like, I like fast throughout the morning and shit like that. How people do like breakfast, lunch, and dinner? No. Most of the mornings I drink juice. Like, I'll make juice or something and just drink that in the morning. Put some juice on shit like that. Mm-hmm. I normally drink the water. I've been to the water. Back then, you quick got the water on the big, you know, big, small person size bottle type of shit. Okay, where the fuck you getting water from? Yeah, I, can't, I can't sell you my secret, but you I get mean, them from the Mexicans at them little things and sell them. <laughs> nah, I don't go there. They 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 charge the same price I do. Oh. <laughs> we got to all understand it. This nigga stealing watermelons, nah. <laughs> nah. Like I used to. Yeah. Nah, but when I was younger, I got a watermelon in the fridge. Oh, where is it cut up? Yep. You know how to pick them? Do I know how to pick them? Yeah, them ugly ass ones. <laughs> yeah, with the little spots and shit. Yep. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, my group in the country. I know how to pick shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> part of the country you grew up in. Don't worry about that. Nah, I don't need everybody to know all my shit. I'm just, <laughs> just asking them to go ask something. <laughs> I'll be getting it. Nah, yeah. but watermelon is my shit, especially because you can eat watermelon like hella, yeah. like hella, like it tastes real, and you ain't gonna gain no weight. When you take some watermelon and some mint and mix that shit together. Like a juice or like actually like 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 cut up and mix it with the mint. Yeah, like that, but our juices is juices. Yeah. 
That shit fire. What type of juice you got? You like Mexican? No, I got a Revealed. Is it the one that like just do all the work? That's crazy. That bitch was expensive as fuck. I know it is. I wouldn't want to know her. She was fun. You ever you, you thrift shop and shit like that? Sometimes. Yeah, you too. Sometimes. Not like I used to. But now I don't buy shit. Like, I think the last thing I did buy is that juicer. That's because my other one broke. And buying that hurt my feelings. I mean, I bet it's worth it. Oh, and I bought a new MacBook. But other than that, I ain't bought shit. Oh, no, the juice is definitely worth it. That whole fine. Yeah, you ain't got to do much with doing it anyway. Hell no. Nah. Boy, I put the whole damn... People are like, well, you put the whole lemon in there. Yep, and it's separated from the peel, bitch. <laughs> I don't have to do shit. Put the whole papaya in there. So how do you feel about, like, double standards between uh, men and women? Do you believe that a uh, woman should stay at the house and clean up and shit? Where the fuck you should be at right now? At the house. Ah! <laughs> but you ain't, you know, you just kicking me. Uh, no, this is what I'm at every day. That's what's up. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> so you do believe in double standards? No, I ain't gonna say, like, this is what works for us. Yeah. Like, I mean, usually he's at home. He's usually here, but he's just not here today. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, you got to do what works for your relationship. Like, like, um, granted, I do be at home, but if I had to, like, like if he was like, hey, you know, you know, like, something happened, money tight, I need to do the X, Y, Z. Fine, you know, I could do that shit. Yeah. Cause I mean, I still make my own money. I just don't. Like, I guess you kind of asking like, he go home or he go to work and pay all the bills. And yeah, like traditional norm. Yeah, right? like that's basically what we do. He paid for like everything, but uh, like I'm gonna take this nigga out the country, like. <laughs> it's like, uh, the don't same because it's on his birthday and he don't know. But <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean but, uh, but you know, just like different shit. Like I don't know. I just feel like relationships should do whatever the fuck they can afford to do. Yeah. Like people get so caught up in with social media so you can do that. Or social media. You cannot date a warehouse worker and expect to stay home. Yeah. You can't. I mean, it just depends on where they live, the situation. Um, yeah, but yeah. I mean, it's all realistically, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Like, like girls want to do they work at Whataburger and stay home all day, and he take care of her. Yeah. No, you got to talk to the owner of Whataburger to stay home all day and get taken care of, like. Everything is expensive as fuck. Yeah. Like, like, it's too goddamn expensive out here for bitches to be like, you supposed to take care of them. Bitch, please. And give you money. <laughs> like. Yeah. I mean. And but bitches can, don't act like bitches used to back in the day, though. So yeah, it's like. Like cooking and cleaning and shit back then. Facts. These yeah. bitches don't even know how to work the stove. You know these women that do that right now? They just wanted a man to take care of everything but can't even cook or, you know. Yeah, I mean, I know people who, like, compare their situation to mine. And I'm like, bro, like, we do what works for us. Like, can't compare it. <laughs> my dude don't even have social media, so, like, he don't see all the stupid like, shit that social media would be, like, the dating guy and shit. Yeah. And, uh, like, I don't see... I don't see why women expect a man to just take care of her. Especially whenever they be mainly fuck these niggas and I'm mad now. I don't thought about it because this nigga